So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a beautiful split monogram sign for only two bucks. We're gonna set it up in light burn, send it over to the laser, stain it, and get it all ready to sell. All right, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. First off, I'm gonna select the letter. We're gonna go with an A. Put that in the center here. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my name and kind of get a, an idea of the size that I want the name to be. And this is all personal preference on this one, but I'm gonna go somewhere around there. Then we're gonna grab the rectangle tool and you wanna draw a rectangle around the same size. It doesn't have to be exact. And then I'm gonna move this name back over here. We're gonna select the letter and the rectangle. And we're gonna go up to tools, Boolean assistant. And depending on how you selected it, it may be subtract A minus B or B minus A. In this case, it's A minus B. Now you're gonna have two separate pieces. One thing I will say is go ahead and right click on it and ungroup. Then you're gonna take the rectangle tool and we're gonna draw two long, kind of skinny rectangles. Um, they don't have to be real thick, but you don't want them extremely skinny because uh, you want uh, you want them to be thick enough for when you go to laser and uh, cut it that you don't risk them breaking. And then I'm gonna select both of them. I wanna go up here and center the two. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the top half, uh, the, the two elements there, and we're going to hit, actually let me back up so I can show you. Here on the left-hand side, we're gonna hit the weld button because we want this to be one solid shape. And we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom. And then what we're gonna do is, let me back up here. So I wanna grab my elements and I wanna drag them over. Kinda of resize them, move them around. And same thing, you wanna select an object and the back piece. If you select all of them together, and you go to weld it and it doesn't work right, uh, your best option is to go ahead and, because you can see there, it kind of made that one disappear. I don't know why. Um, so if that's the case, you can always select the uh, top portion of the A and select um, an element at, at a time. Um, if you know why that does that, definitely, uh, definitely leave a comment below because I would love to know what what causes that because <laughs> uh, I don't know and see so if you go to tools and boolean assistant it doesn't do that on the union I have no clue why um, let's back up here so we can see everything And again, this is all personal preference, guys. It's uh, It doesn't have to look exactly like this by any means. I'm just making it look uh, how I want it to look, of course. back up here because something moved here. There go. And again, we're going to select our elements and our lower piece. Yep. 
All right, there we go. All right, next thing we're gonna do is get our word. And same thing, when you type out your word, you want to make sure that the top of the letter and the bottom of the letter overlap the pieces. Otherwise, they won't weld together. And we're gonna select all three pieces, hit our weld button, and just like that, everything's together. Now, one thing that I will say also is if you have a font that's real thin, you may want to select it first and do an offset of like a 0 0.25, 0 0.5, depending on the size of, um, of a monogram that you're wanting to make. You may even want to adjust the uh, horizontal space between the two. Let's delete that one and center that a little bit better. And then that way you have a little bit thicker lines so that when you go to um, cut it out, uh, less risk of anything breaking um, for sure on that. So uh, we got our design. Um, this is just kind of give you the setup, but let's go ahead and jump over to the laser and I'm gonna show you uh, the cutting process, my settings and finishing. And uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into that real quick. Okay, so let's take a real quick look at the settings and light burn that I have. Uh, I am running on a OM Tech 60 watt laser. So let's take a look real quick. I've got my file already imported, but I am running at one pass. Uh, I have 10 on the speed, 75 on the power. And this might be different depending on the machine that you're running, but let's go ahead and hit start on this and get this thing going. All right, so while you're watching the time lapse of this being cut, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would hit that like button. And if you're getting value out of this content, if you're really learning something, definitely hit that subscribe button. I'm always making videos showing people how to make things with the CO2 laser. Okay, looks like everything cut out real nice. I'm just gonna grab some stain here. This is a Varthane dark walnut. I'm just gonna grab an old microfiber cloth. And like I explained earlier uh, in the uh, you know how to design it and whatnot why you want thicker lines is because when you're doing this and you're staining and you're putting pressure on it you don't want those pieces to break and if you don't have a rag you can also use a foam brush either one will work all right and just like that we have a beautiful stained sign so I did say at the beginning of the video that this only costs two bucks. And so what it is, is the quarter inch plywood, uh, and you can get maple, uh, veneer or oak, and they cost about 40 bucks. So if you size these just right to fit in one square foot, you can get 32 of these. Well, if you sell these things for 30 bucks, well, you've just made yourself over a thousand dollars. So, Nice profit margin for sure. Very quick, very easy. So yeah, guys, I hope you like this content. I hope you learned something. Definitely let me know if you wanna know more about the CO2 laser or how to design files. And we hope to see y'all in the next video.